you're sitting at the bench, you're going to take this top uh, music desk out, and most of the time these just slide right out. They're just on a sliding thing, so you just slide this out, and you'll slide this out, it'll be in your hand, and you'll take it from here, and you'll stick it um, out of the way, and it will expose all of the um, tuning pins, the hammers, the dampers, and all that, and we'll go ahead and we'll look into the piano now. Okay, now we're actually at the bench at the grand piano, and we can see the keys. We can see the keys are level. If you take a good look down the line, you can see that the keys are level just by looking down here. And that's a good way to look at the upright piano too. But now that we've opened the piano, we can see everything in here. We see the tuning pins right here. We see all the tuning pins. We want to make sure there's no discoloration. And on this piano, we'll notice that these tuning pins are brand new and these strings are very bright. So the strings have been replaced on the grand bass section of this piano right here. And you can tell that just by looking at um, when you can see up close, these tuning pins are a little bit older. And then if you look over here, you see these brand new shiny tuning pins and brand new strings. So that could be a good sign. Somebody's taken the effort to restring this piano in the lower end. These are the dampers, and when you press on the damper pedal, you can see they lift. You want to make sure they all lift in a row, and they all sit down easily. You want to make sure that when you play the key, that the dampers are moving up as well, and that the dampers return and damp the, the note, so there's no notes ringing out. Make sure there's no rust on the strings, on the tuning pins themselves, or any signs of pin dope. So that's a bad sign. This piano looks like it's in really good shape. And if we go from here, as we can see the hammers down in there, and they look like they are in good shape. And if you press on the hammers, you can actually see them come right up to the string and hit the string just perfectly. We can also stand up from the bench and go in to look at the bridges. Now these are the bridges and they're wide open. So you can look right down in the bridge of the piano and you can find and look closely and see if there are any cracks. This one is in perfect condition, a great condition. And you can look at the plate as well, the plate inside the piano, the strings. And you go through the whole piano itself, just checking. This is the logo, Story and Clark, made by Yamaha. And you can see that there is a little bit of staining on this soundboard, but there's no cracks at all anywhere on this soundboard, so it's in really good shape. So as you stand back from the grand piano, you can just take a look at the case, take a look underneath, make sure all the pedals work, all the keys work, and you can see that this piano is in very good shape. You can see the serial numbers right here, right tapped onto the plate, and we'll just take a quick note of this. This piano looks like it's it's got a crack in the lid, and so you might want to be concerned about that just in terms of what it would cost to repair that crack. So this is the grand piano, and if you like this piano and those things check out, you could feel confident about making a purchase of this piano.